what they found was that there was a letter that was written by me to uh, the airlines here. I had a rebate of something like $4.50 <laughs> coming back. They said that I misused county property because I had asked my secretary to draft the letter for me sign it, so I could sign it and send it in. Okay. That's what they tried to do to me for four dollars and fifty cents. To smear you. Yeah, to smear me. They, uh, whenever I left, he said that I was illiterate, and I hope that you can tell in this conversation that I'm not illiterate. I hope that you can tell that I am a credible person, that we are legitimate in the things that we do. He has done criminal investigations of me. I've taken many polygraphs in my life. I worked with next, stood next to the President of the United States. And I can assure you that if there was anything in my background right. that would have been a problem, mm -hmm. I would never have been able to do those things. On the other hand, he went after my family. It's a long, drawn out story, but I left and decided I wasn't going to run against him, but people encouraged me to run. Whenever I ran, my son was arrested the first time. And he went to jail for four years for a first offense. And $250 in damage, nobody hurt, and he was returning gunfire, he was a security officer, mm -hmm. returned gunfire of somebody that had just fired at them, and I had trained him that if some, you don't go after somebody, but if somebody does something, fires at you, return fire. you bet, <laughs> you bet. Anyway, that started uh, a trail. This happened in a local city in Arizona. Within an hour, the sheriff's office had detectives there wanting to know what kind of dirt that some people could give on Tom Barrett and his son Patrick. Developing their story. You bet, you bet. But all charges were dropped. Rick Romney dropped all charges. So Joe went to, what was it, the county attorney at that time? Uh, attorney General. Attorney General. And they filed, got a grand jury indictment against Patrick, re-arrested Patrick. The gangbangers who shot at him got nothing. Patrick got four years and three years probation. When he came out of prison, Tom was running again for sheriff. And then next time he got arrested, it was not good. That's also I wanted to touch on. We, we spoke earlier. Is your yeah. son incarcerated? Oh, yes. Yeah. He's on death row today for a crime he did not commit. Through the Arizona system? Through the yes. Arizona system. The judge even wrote in the minute entries, Patrick Spira, uh, Patrick, in his case, justice is not served. That's in the minute entries from the judge himself, a superior court judge. After that particular comment, shortly after that, they tried, Joe Pyle and uh, Thomas tried to have him disbarred from the bench. Wow. This is, it's amazing. A superior court judge. A superior court judge that has had an impeccable record. And, and, and the basics of this case was there were six people at a crime scene. Three of them were relatives. They all said that, did they see Patrick Barrett? No. Did they hear Patrick Barrett? No. Then how do you know Patrick Barrett was there? They said the cops told us. The other three got deals. One girl got, I think, 10 years. One kid got 14. And one got 25. The one that got 25, we heard might even walk. And my kid got the death penalty in which all these three that got a deal said that my son just stood there and watched. He right. never touched all this kid. All these facts. All yes. these facts came up. And the jury found him guilty and gave him the death penalty. And they, they excuse me for interrupting, Ray, but what happened was they decided... Uh, that they would bring in a special prosecutor for Patrick Barrett. He is the less culpable of any, even if right. they said he was there, mm -hmm. which he was not, to our knowledge, was there. The, the point is this, in law enforcement, we would have gone to the less culpable one and asked, uh, made the deal with them. Right. But they Talk. made a deal with the murderer. They yes. made a deal with the guy that beat this guy in the head with a baseball bat. They made a deal with the girl that set it all up, and the one that happened to have my name is the one that got sentenced to die in the state of Arizona. Now, I was Isn't born and raised in this city, in this state, and I love this place. I had to take my children out of here because I thought that the sheriff would have somebody plant something in, my car, in their car, yeah. and as, as I said, I'm a pastor. We have deputies that have come forward in court 
testifying to the fact that they tapped our phones. Our church and, phones. Our church phones. And this is Joe's office. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. yeah. Because he's got that much clout. Yes. Uh, well, the FBI interviewed us several years ago. And uh, frankly, my wife asked him, well, how can he do that? How right. can he get by with that? And the agent said, frankly, Tom and Adele, he can say you're running guns and drugs out of your church. And she says, well, we're not. He says he's the sheriff. He can do what he wants. He can do what he voters wants. Voters will vote him out. Something has to be done because uh, it's my understanding the sheriff actually is a process server and a jailer. They are not the primary law enforcement in the they're not the, pr the front line. In, in the way that the Constitution of Arizona uh, reads is he is truly the top law enforcement officer. Let me tell you what the deal is. He has primary responsibility outside of the city limits, but he has authority throughout the county. It doesn't matter where it is. But they are state certified peace officers. Mm -hmm. So through state certification, if we were anywhere, we could make a lawful arrest. Right. But our primary responsibility is outside. The only reason, outside of the cities, right. uh, the only reason Joe does that in the city of Phoenix and why it was uh, the prostitution uh, campaign was on Van Buren because it's right in the city of Phoenix and nobody was going to tell him he couldn't do it, which brought all the attention. Joe is uh, a, a master of sound bites. Mm -hmm. He knows how to spin a story. He's wrapped and, up in himself, isn't he? He is wrapped up in himself. And I have to tell you very candidly again, I have a lot of compassion on one side for a man because I think that there's some serious issues Absolutely. with him. Absolutely, we can see it. I watched him one time in a car that we were driving together. And as we were driving along at 19th Avenue and Broadway in Phoenix, right. there was a little puppy that was running across an Don't open field. Me. Oh, yeah. And he <laughs> stopped and he says, look at that little puppy. He's going to get run over. And I saw a part of the man I'd never seen. I saw that part of compassion. That's why he has the animals in his jails today. But yet he would brag about not feeding people properly. And I understand if you're in jail, it shouldn't be a place that you want to go back to. Yeah. But you should, by law, we have a responsibility Correct. to house we them. We have to care for people. We have to care for them. Plus the fact that you hit on earlier was they're still not convicted. Right. That's right. Most of them are not, they hadn't been adjudicated for whatever they've been charged with yet. Right. Within 10 days, they go from being incarcerated after conviction to the Department of Corrections unless they have been uh, sentenced to serve a year or less in the county jail. Okay. A year and a day more, they go to state prison. Okay. Okay? Unless the judge, for some special reason, would say, I want him in the county jail. Whenever you build the tents, and I was there when the tents were built, I was there, it was supposed to be temporary wow. housing. Yes. because it was overcrowded right. and there was a legitimate reason yeah, to I begin know. with for that to happen. Whenever the pink shorts started, I was there. The reason that it was started is because they were walking out with the white socks that we had. Right. People that we are arrested on the streets come in and they have no clean clothes Generally. or anything and yes, they're going to have a clean pair of socks to go out with because after they've sat there for a couple months in, in a box, wow. 